Now, James DeGale versus Marcus Perryban. First of all, I like both fighters. I like Perryban, and I do like James DeGale. I don't know why recently all the guys seem to like seem to like seem to be fighting one another. I think this is a great fight and great matchup. The come forward, non-stop pressure style of Perryban against James DeGale, the slickster, the former Olympic gold medalist or the gold medalist from the Olympics. Um, and you know, James DeGale has quietly gone about since the loss to um, Groves, which I thought was a win, um, has gone about his business rebuilding his career, um, won the European title, you know, um, knows, had, had, you know, some interesting fights on Channel 5, fighting at Lakeside, uh, Olympic champion fighting at Lakeside, ridiculous. But, you know, he stuck through all that, and he's now got Ambrose Mendy, if you know Ambrose Mendy, he was the guy that uh, guided the career of the Dark Destroyer. And um, Mendy's going to do what's best for, you know, DeGale. And he has developed his career and has taken the right steps. Been in tough fights, been in meaningful fights, been in big fights um, with meaning to them. He's not just had a blow over fight, blow guys he's just, blow, just blown over. Um He's had, he's been hit and hurt in fights and come back. Um, so I like James DeGale and I think he's work. I think me personally, he's genuinely work, genuinely world class. I'm probably saying this tonight, saying this now to you guys, and he'll probably go and get knocked out now. But um, no, I if he gets knocked out, he's getting knocked out by a guy who I think is very good as well in Periban. But um, Payban sort of reminds me in some ways of like Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in the sense that he's tall, long arms, and just non-stop coming forward. I think he's got a better work rate than Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. But um, I like Periban. He's an exciting fighter. He brings a lot of excitement to the ring and uses his attributes nicely. Um, he's got a nasty right hand. And if he gets you against the ropes, and DeGale has previously liked to lean on the ropes, I would not advise that for James DeGale in this fight. And if Perry Banner is going to try and win this fight, he's got to keep DeGale with his back against the ropes and land those right hands as often as possible. For James DeGale, this is a great opportunity to showcase his talents to the world. His fight against Brandon Gonzalez was very impressive. A lot of people didn't know if um, DeGale would have got past Brandon Gonzalez, but... And I think, I believe he, he was trained by Virgil Hunter, who I interviewed when um, Groves and Frotch were fighting for the second time at Wembley. I interviewed um, Virgil Hunter and he didn't think um, that De Gea was good enough. The beating that he put on Gonzalez was was special. And um, De Gea's got pop and he's got a good movement. Um, I think he's becoming a seasoned pro now and he's done things the way that I like to see in a fighter before they get a world title shot. Unlike Groves who jumped at a world title shot and wasn't, I don't think, was fundamentally ready. I think De Gale is getting his way the right way to fighting for a world title. Um... The fight against Gonzalez was a good fight. The fight he had defended you being tight and he got hit and hurt. I can't remember the fight was then. Um, and almost got knocked out. That fight was good as well because it was a fight where he had to dig in deep and fight and show lots of heart. Um, the weakness is about De Gale. He's not great at chasing fights. He's very good at countering. And I can see him countering very well against Periban. My only concern with DeGale, again, is when he's against the ropes, his back touches the ropes, and he starts to try and lay on the ropes and try to do his Mayweather crap. I, I don't want to see that. S take the centre of the ring against Perryband. Lateral move, moving side to side, in and out, side to side. Lots of quick movements. You know, hit Perryband and be gone. Hit Perryband and be gone. Don't stick around and try and go and have a tear up with Perryband. I think it could end, may end up being fighting tonight if Bellew cleans out cleverly. I think it's going to be a very good fight. Very, very good fight. And um, maybe a lot tougher fight than a lot of people expect because of Periban's style. Like I said, Periban can win this fight. Um, 
because he has that nasty right hand. He's tough. He's strong. He's not just going to fall over like a lot of opponents that are on this bill. This guy is going to come to fight. I don't know how he'll fight in the English conditions. Or is it coming from abroad? I don't know how he'll fight in the colder conditions and the, the, the different uh, the time zones and all the rest of it and whether he's made weight well and all those sort of things. All those things can play a part when you're in the big fights. Uh, what is team are like? Like I don't know those things about a prayer band. But if it's the prayer band that I know that's fit and strong and in shape and, and, and he's made the weight right and he's rugged and determined and full of strength, we've got a great fight in our hands. And he can pull off the upset. I'm not expecting him to. I'm expecting DeGale to show his class. Um, maybe a, if he could pull out a stoppage, DeGale, it'd be a great one. Great fight. Um, I'd like to see DeGale be clean. A nice, clean performance for DeGale in this fight. We show that he's a cut above. Because I actually believe he is world class. Um, genuinely world class. And probably after Carl Froch. Because I still rate DeGale higher than Groves. Um, our best. Yeah, fighter. All round, you know. Um, I think DeGale. Um, so, skill wise, and I think he's, he's tremendously skilled, lots of talent. Um, complete package. Almost complete. I say he can't go forward very well. Not great comfortable for a fighter he's very good countering I think technically he's, he's skilled and I would love to have seen DeGale go over to the States <coughs> <coughs> and work with a technical coach like um, Floyd Mayweather Sr or his uncle Roger because I think they are perfect at a style like that but Jim McDonald's done a good job you always know that DeGale's going to be in shape the only thing about McDonald, I always feel that you know I don't, I don't know if this can be proven that, you know, um, a guy can overtrain. And sometimes DeGale looks like he's overtrained in fights. He looked great in that last fight, don't get me wrong. You'll never have to worry about DeGale and fitness in a fight because McDonough will get him in super shape. If I had DeGale, I would kick McDonald on. But I'd like to bring some technical adjustments like maybe just take him to camp in America and do some work there. But otherwise, I like DeGale. I think he beats Periban. Um, but it won't be easy. I don't think um, Periban will be trying all night long. But if DeGale can put on the sort of performance I think he can put on, he'll be a good fight and uh, he'll uh, he could look he could look top of the pile in this one. But you know who knows. That right hand of Perryban, like I said, it, it could knock the gale out. Honestly, I think I do rate the power of Perryban. <coughs> <coughs> Nasty cough I've got. I have to go and take some uh, something for a little minute. But yeah, that's it. Love to know what you think. Um, do you agree with what I think I've said about the gale being probably the one of the best fighters we've got in this country, in the UK? or not do you think that DeGale would benefit from a a, a a US trainer to to work with his style and um, how much do you rate Perryband do you think he stands a good chance of do you think he can beat DeGale and um, of all the champions do you really think that Carfrotch wants to fight DeGale I don't think the fight will ever happen personally and if it does happen I'm going with DeGale for that one um, Frotch never does good against movers and Froch and um, DeGale will not stand there and have a fight with Froch. He'll move, 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 much like Ward did. And um, DeGale is, a, I think, is a better boxer than Groves. I think Groves is a better puncher than DeGale. Okay, let me know what you guys think. I'm out.